Hi guys, today I'm bringing you the unboxing of the brand new TiVo Tornado 3D printer. This is the most recent model released by TiVo and I will assemble it and review it in my next videos. The printer was delivered in a box with a size of 640 by 530 by 300 millimeter and 12 kilograms in weight. And now you guys are saying, I don't care about that, just open the box already. So let's not waste any more time and let's start. And the first thing we see is an extra heat bed surface. Very cool. And a bag with some stuff inside. One is the manual. Here are the instructions on how to assemble the printer. Recommended settings for the slicer, how to slice an object and how to flash a new firmware. This is the after sales instructions. A card with some links. And this is probably a part checklist. Under these foams, we find a controller and some parts. We have a power cable, European for me, that checks out OK, a USB cable, a spatula, this will be very handy. Thanks, Tivo. A bag with tools. A bag with parts. Another bag with parts. Here includes uh, an end stop, a bag with the springs for the heat pad, And finally a bag that includes a spare 0.4 nozzle, an 8GB memory card, a temperature sensor and some zip ties. Now let's try to take the controller out. You have to identify which foam you can take out because some of them are glued.
And here it is. The three cables are perfectly labeled. In one of them, we have the X motor connector and the extruder motor connector and the X axis limit switch. In the second cable, we have the Z axis limit switch and the Z motor cable. And in the third cable, we have the Y axis limit switch and the Y motor connector. The controller enclosure is all metal. You can see here that the piezo sticker was not removed. There's a hole here for the display contrast adjustment, which is great, and the stop or reset switch. On the side, we have the USB connection, the SD card reader slot, and a cooling fan. At the back, we have a couple of connectors. This is the same type I use with my uh, CNC machine. Uh, the main power cable connector and the main switch. I was wondering where we select the main voltage and uh, I can see here a fuse and the note to use a 250 volt fuse so the voltage is correct for my case. On the other side we have one more fan. This one pushes the air in and the other one pulls the air out. Now for this uh, vertical part, it is stuck very well in the foam, so I need to take all out and cut the foam so I can carefully take this next piece out. Now we take it out. And here we go. This is the vertical part of the frame. It has the X gantry, the X motor, a tight next screw the Z motor and lead screw installed and the hot end here at the back. In the box we have more parts to take out. Here we can already see the heat bed. Everything looks pretty secure. Now let's free the heat bed. The four corners are secured with this wire.
And here's the bed. And on the bed, we can see the test print that was made in the fab before shipping. This is a nice detail by TiVo. Insulation on the bottom side. And a nice finish. And this one is the heat bed connector. Last but not least, the bottom piece. This one is easier to take out. It's the Y-axis. The Y-axis belt looks okay. On the bottom side, we can see the six wheel carriage and the four rubber feet and the Y axis motor. I have a couple of wheels not turning correctly. Uh, this is just a matter of adjusting the eccentric nuts. I will check everything in detail during the assembly. And this is everything you guys. This is the Y axis. Z-axis, the extruder, the X-axis, and the hot end, the heat pad, and the bag with parts. I hope you guys liked the unboxing and I'll see you guys in my next videos.